So for the past couple of months, I've been basically redecorating my Boxburg home by turning it from something that wasn't really modern to a brand new modern aesthetic home. So if you guys don't know, if you guys have been catching up with my videos or keeping up with my videos, basically we've been redecorating my box work home and as you can see some mountains have appeared, um, the fence around the house has disappeared and we've done some landscaping as well, which I think I kind of, kind of like. But since we're kind of nearing the end with a few rooms to finish and I'll go into build mode and show you whatever rooms we have to finish in this house and we'll come off all the rooms. I thought we would start a brand new series, which is basically decorating some rooms in my Bloxburg house and just basically giving the, the house more life and stuff like that. So basically to start off, we have a few rooms that need to be redecorated in this Bloxburg, um, Bloxburg house. Just basically this bedroom right here, which let me just uh, put the roofs back on. Basically this room right here is a bedroom and I think it could use some renovations as um, in here. And here is basically the family room, um, it is a new family room I should say, and I kind of probably want to turn this into like a movie theater and basically put this um, kitchen area over in a different room. This room has already been redecorated but I'll probably redecorate it even more just to give it more of like a new aesthetic. Then we have some rooms over here which some new rooms which we have the storage area which I'm going to keep the same but this bedroom I think we could do maybe a little bit of a change to it. And now we're going to go upstairs and we're going to show you some other rooms that need to be redone. But basically we are going to be redoing this room right here which comes up with basically we have out of all the rooms that need to be redecorated we have one, two, and three. So basically three, four rooms. So I want to redecorate this room. And we basically almost finished all the downstairs. We have the fifth room over here and the sixth room right here as well. And then I'm contemplating whether I want to redecorate this over here, which is our gymnasium and locker area. But that's that that's the kind later. And I'm also redecorating some of the hallways off camera, so those these these are obviously going to change a lot. Now that gives us like six or seven rooms. I should have a counter appearing on the screen. That's way more accurate than this. So then we have another room right here, which I think makes eight rooms, eight or nine, I don't know. And that's pretty much literally every single room we have left to redecorate in this house. Uh, by far, this this house has been a journey, and this house has been basically so much to me, um, because it's been it's just been a house that I called a home in Bloxburg for a while. And it looks so different and new. All right, so I don't know if you guys skipped ahead to this part, but if you guys did, I basically. Um, basically before this, I was talking about all the rooms we have left to do in redecorating my box work house. So now we're going to move on to what this new thing is going to be, which we're going to be doing with some empty rooms that I have created in this house. Um, so basically rooms like this will basically probably do this off camera, which is just a bedroom. Um, and you can definitely see that I have something to do up there, but this is technically going to be a bedroom. So we'll do something like that off camera. But some of these bigger rooms like this, which I have emptied out, you can just see just three lights left. Um, we're going to be doing something that I want to call as a decorating my Bloxburg house. Basically, I want to take you guys out and give you some tips on decorating and things that you guys can do to improve your decorations. Just like I've been doing in my house for a while now, as you can see, all of these brand new textures that I have been using. And I'll be coming in here, some new doors and some brand in some empty rooms like this. I want to start decorating and just, you know, you guys can leave comments in down below um, if I show off a room that I haven't decorated yet. So basically what I want to try to do is I basically want to take a vision for this room and plan it out. So we're going to have to go through the planning process. And the planning process for me is a lot hard because I got to figure out which rooms I have, which rooms I don't have, and assess what I could be doing with other rooms as we decorating them. So basically all we're going to do is we're just going to hop in build mode and we're going to go down into the room in the basement. Now for general purposes I usually have my grid off just for aesthetic purposes as I'm looking at the rooms. And then I basically assess everything that's here. So we have a bedroom, a storage area, our big garage, this semi room that I'm probably going to turn into a movie theater which is some random rooms here for a mountain. Um, we have another bedroom and then the stairs that lead up 
to the house. Now, up here, we also have our living room, all this stuff like that. And if we talk about here, what used to be here was a family room with its fireplace and everything. So basically, all I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to clear this out by taking off all the curtains from the windows and all of them. So that's some of the things I do as I'm starting a build. I'm also going to remove all of that. Now, I want to start this room as a blank state, so we're going to remove any add additional walls that I have added into this room. And we're going to take off all of the wall trims as well. So once this is finished, what we're going to do next is now basically I'm just going to paint all of these walls in different color, which is going to be medium stone gray. Now that all the walls have been painted, I'm basically going to paint the floor medium stone gray as well, just so that we could get the little vibe and feel of what I want to be in this room. Now we basically have a big room and it goes by. So this room basically is a six by seven or eight. It's a six by seven room. And obviously I can't make this go any further back. So, or further to the side. So basically what I did before is I just had a big wall separating right here, which usually now I basically maybe use walls like this in corners or basically do smaller corners. And I, I sometimes like to have the rooms symmetrical. So basically, we already know what we have in our, basically in our house, we have bedrooms and stuff like that. But the one thing is figuring out what you want this room to be. So basically with this big room, we could basically turn it into, into anything. Now, what is usually in houses? Basically, there's just separate rooms outside. There's study spaces, offices, and stuff like that. So I thought... We could turn this into something that is like, you know, a study-based room. Now, it is completely dark, so we're basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to remove all of our windows and our doors, just so that now, what we have now is we just have in the blank and empty room. And you can definitely see on this wall, there's nothing here at all. Now, I'm going to toggle the rooms off again. And basically, now... Or I'm going to basically shape this room, and once I shape this room, we'll basically see what I want to do with this, basically, this new space. Okay, so basically, I just basically reshaped the room a little bit, so basically, gave this a little bit more of a variety of shape. I All I did was basically add, basically, a corner space with a slanted wall. So now, basically, if I were to paint this for this color, the floor won't be wonky as it usually is. Now basically what we want to do now is I want to copy this door over here. I kind of like this door and I think we add it to the space in here and not give it too much of a, you know, vibe that gives us that it's way too open. So we're basically now going to enclose a lot of our spaces. Now one of the things that I like to do is toggle my roofs off and on a lot of times. Just so I can see how a room looks with the roofs toggled off. Now, obviously, you can see a little bit of the roof from the second floor, basically the what I call as the first level, um, peeking through in here, which is not that bad since we can kind of cover it up, but not really cover it up. So basically, with this kind of design of a room, we could basically maybe have a few bookshelves along this. Maybe do something with this area and this area and giving this a, a whole slew of like a cozy study room area. So basically with this house, we have a lot of bedrooms and want to accommodate with maybe school or like, you know, just a, just like a studio in general. So I want to turn this into a studio room. So up here we have my office, which is basically where I'm going to do a lot of my planning of work. And then down here, we can kind of have this be like a studio. So we're going to turn this into a studio. Now, first things first is what I want to do is I want to start by taking on what this is and basically bringing this up. Now, I don't know where that is coming from. So basically, coming from the area. Okay. Where this roof is, we want to basically add a floor. Which now I'm going to add like a, oops. Which now I'm going to add a floor over here. 
Now, that's just basically trial and error. Now, what I kind of want to do is I want to add some beams to this room, which I think will make a great addition to this kind of place. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take our structural items and we're basically going to do these standard square beams. And I'm going to see what does the just regular standard square beam looks, look like and what does the other standard square beam look like. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the large square beam. Basically all I do is I basically just take these beams, which I'm probably just going to put that on the small grid. And now what we're going to do now is that going to do the wall. Okay, so now we got our square beams across the room and obviously the middle is going to be different than the edges because I just didn't really want to do a lot from there. And now basically what I want to do now is I basically want to get some new lights in this room. Basically, I'm just going to do these horizontal neon lights. Now basically, I'm just going to take this from here and just go all the way up. That does not work, so we're not going to do that type of lighting. Okay, so now for lighting, we're going to start with this four lamp. This is very bright, so we're going to change the color to linen, and we're going to basically do that as like a black color. So obviously, we're basically going to start with sections of each room, so we're going to basically now we're going to do some wall trimming. Now, the way that I choose wall trimming is I basically choose it the way that the rest of the house kind of looks like. Now we kind of have this big section of tall crown molding and this basically um, flat baseboard kind of thing, so flat baseboards. And sometimes I kind of use this kind of basically crown molding, I mean paneling, whatever, baseboards, whatever. So I'm basically going to use this for these walls right here. And then I'm basically going to texture the walls with a very soothing texture because you kind of, we're kind of doing this room as like a nice little study area, um, a quiet room as we're going to call it. It's a, a room where students, where kids can get their homework done or where you can just hang out and just have a nice relaxing day. So it's just going to be like, you know, a relax a relaxation room. So obviously there's a lot of textures here that we're going to choose from and could use this texture, but I want more of the calming or relaxing texture. We could go with smooth textures, but I want to give this wall a little bit of a variation. Now, choosing textures could be a little bit hard because you want it to go with the rest of the house. So you have this little jigsaw piece right here, which I don't want to use. And then we obviously have foil. We have some brick colors, not brick colors. We have some brick um, textures. So I think ultimately what I'm going to go for is I'm Go for more so like this. I'm gonna do this more of like a calming gray. I'm gonna do this more of like a nice little lightish gray color, like this color right here. We're basically gonna paint that on all of the walls now. Now, obviously, you can see that the walls are not textured good. So, basically, what we're gonna do now is we're basically Gonna take this texture and we're gonna basically redo this entire wall texture. So I basically just changed the texture from a nice and um pat look from this big pattern to this nice and neatly packed pattern, which is the plaid, the play plaid, plaid plaid texture. Now obviously we have these trims right here, and obviously they don't really fit the vibe of the room that I want to go with. So basically, what's next is basically. We're going to keep this as wood and we're basically going to try to find some different colors that we could use which I'm probably just going to use this color right here because I want it to complement the room a little bit but I don't want it to distract from each and every part of the room which I think that actually looks pretty nice. It kind of fits in ties and textures both together and we're not really creating like much of so like you know a room that is not appealing to people who want to come in here and relax. So now we're going to direct ourselves towards this wall, the back wall over here right now. And now I'm going to bring over this lamp over here as well. And we're not going to use this room as all lamps. Basically what we want to do next is figure out what is causing us to do that.
why it's glitching out, which I'll probably figure out why it's doing that in the future. Oops. Okay, so it's just from that. So I just have to basically, from this texture right here is all wrong. So you want to put that as institutional there. And take this as institutional white as well. Okay. That should bring us down to that. Okay. Sorry about that. Now, we could just copy what we did over there to over here. With the same wall textures and colors. So basically, it gives whatever is on that side of the room to this side of the room. Now, in the build category, we basically could do some fireplaces in here as well. Give that more of like a calm, calming, calming feel to the room. And obviously, this was the old fireplace that we had in this before. Um, I feel like that this kind of could complement this area a little bit. We do this right here. I kind of probably want to go maybe for this nice elegant fireplace to give it more of an elegant feel, but we'll kind of touch back on that. Now over here, I kind of said that I wanted to do a little bit of some storage, and we could put in some basic, basically some bookshelves in here that I have that that haven't been in here before. So obviously, we'll put bookshelves anywhere that we see fit. So I'll probably put a bookshelf here, a bookshelf there, bookshelf there, but I don't really know. This this bookshelf doesn't even fit in this room. So I'm gonna go with the traditional bookshelf cabinet. Okay, so now we basically added in some bookshelves right here and obviously you can see that the beams go like that. So all we have to do is basically texture this back wall, which I wanna I'm Probably just gonna give this color of that, which I think is just oh, it's just medium stone gray. So then we're gonna basically put this trim around the entire area. Then I want to make this room basically a fossil color. I think. I think more of a ghost gray color would fit this room a little bit better. It would be more calming and welcoming and exciting. Okay, so now in our little study area, we now have this nice bookshelf right here, and we have this nice back wall and this wall over here that we could probably lace with tables where people can do their homework in this nice little study area and room. So basically, in your decorate category, you're going to find the tables. Now, I usually search up desk and I find whatever desk will best fit this kind of room area. So a traditional desk is basically in my office area and I don't think it will fit in here. Now the simplicity desk is the desk that I usually use, but I feel as this room could use a quadratic desk just with this nice little area right here. It's just, it's just nice and small. And then we could basically make this table like so. We could have as many chairs as we want at this desk. And Basically, I'm going to basically fit this table along the wall, however it fits, just like that. And now we're going to put some chairs in here as well. Okay, so basically this, this room area can basically fit about four people at a table doing their homework. Now, when you're, when you're looking for colors, you want to look for colors that won't distract from each of the areas. Now, you could obviously do things differently than I'm doing them currently. So basically, I just want to have some, basically some chairs that will complement the room and each color that I choose for them. Now, I'm going for more of a rustic feel, more modern rustic feel. And now, we kind of have this blank wall up here. You know, obviously, a lot of times with blank walls, I either slap painting there or I just slap different decorations. And Bloxburg has added a lot of different decorations in the... In most updates, so when you're decorating, you go in here to decorations, and now we have this whole slew of things. 
here. Basically, you just want to put stuff that are on the wall. So basically, I'm going to basically pretty up this room a little bit, and I'll see you guys once this room is up. Okay, so it's been an hour since I started recording, and um, this video is probably going to be like a sh not an hour long, but I think I kind of got in the general gist and idea of what I want the room to be, and it's not in a speed build form, so this is kind of new to me. Um, if you guys can't tell, I'm actually doing this kind of thing in a different space, which I'm probably going to do that a lot more. Let's see. So basically what happened was is that we have a brand new room right here, which I'm calling it the study room. Now if you were to walk inside, it kind of looks a little bit dull and calm, which I kind of like. And over here, I kind of added this nice little table here, which is more areas for studies. So basically, instead of seating four people, we can see eight people doing their studies in here with our benches. Oh. We have a nice little beanbag with a nice little couch that we can, in fact, rest on, which I think is important, pretty nice. And you also have your, you're able to sit as well on the couch. You're just basically sitting here, which I think is pretty cute and cute. And then we have the, we have this brand new TV right here, which is the bigger TV. Um, and I think, I wish you could change the brightness on the TV. So, what this froggy add that? In here we definitely have our areas that we can sit and do our homework. Um, and then over here we have this nice little um, table. And obviously I want to change these pictures, so let's hope they have some nice study pictures. So that's pretty much the room here in which we have it. Um, I think this looks pretty nice and cute and nice as a study room. So this used to be a family room. If I can find a picture of what this room looked like before, I'll be showing on the screen. So that's pretty much what, so if it showed on the screen, that's pretty much what this room was and what it was before. So I kind of like this room now. Um, so that was before I deleted everything. So yeah, I kind of like this room now it being a study room, and I think that this is probably gonna be like a nice way to have a bring in a new series of decorating my blocks for home. Instead of redecorating, we're gonna re decorate some rooms. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call this series, but for right now, I'm calling it decorating my blocks for home. But yeah, pretty much that's all I have in for you guys in this room. Alright, so I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this type of video, be sure to like, subscribe, because it will really, really, really help me out and get this video across to show what people. Also share it with your friends so they can watch it, or share it with people who want to see this kind of stuff. I know in this video I gave you a little bit of tips for decorating, so definitely follow those tips as well. I also have another video up. There's also decorate um, tips for decorating your blocks for home. You can definitely check that in my recommended videos right here, which will be popping up in the eye. Um, you guys can check that out. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please do whatever you can to get this video out there. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye!